Hello, Pastor Joel here from Chico First. And do you ever wonder what God says is the way to a blessed life? Well, in Psalm 112, it tells us, it says in verse one, praise the Lord. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commandments. To fear God is not to be scared of God, though when we know who God is, there is ample reason for us to be scared, but neither is it merely a mealy mouth respect. To fear God is to treat God as he deserves as God. To fear a mountain is to treat the mountain with appropriate care and different deference. To fear God is to treat him with accord with his, to accord with his nature. In particular, then it means to greatly delight in his commandments. So let me ask you, who do you fear? Is it people, failure, poverty, sickness? The one way to cast out our fears is to fear the good God. And so if you wish to be blessed, learn to fear God by delighting in his word. But what then of the nature of success? Well, Psalm 112 tells us this. It says the righteous will never be moved. It means a stability for the one who fears God. It says he looks in triumph on his adversaries through Jesus and through our faith in him. We have victory over Satan and sin. And victory over sin is a gradual process through this life. But God will continue to empower us to have victory in sin. It says he has distributed freely. He has given to the poor. The one who fears God is open-handed with his resources to others. It says his righteousness endures forever. While those who fear God are still sinners, their righteous purpose will stand through faith in Jesus for eternity. And then in verse seven, it says, he is not afraid of bad news. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. Yesterday morning, Ben and I went to the driving range to hit a bucket of balls. And as we're pulling into the golf course, we heard this big bang. And we looked back and saw that my rear passenger window was completely shattered. Something broke it. That's bad news, right? And there was a time in my life when something like that would happen. My heart would sink and I would fear or I would doubt. How am I going to pay for this? How am I going to deal with this? And when this happened yesterday, I was surprised by it, of course. But my heart was firm, trusting that God, he would take care of me that he would provide for me. I was more grateful than anything that God had protected us in that moment. See, those who fear him aren't afraid of bad news. Their hearts are firm because we trust in the Lord. You see, the blessed life comes when we fear the Lord God. We know the eye of the Lord is on us and we live our lives for the joyful delight of following God's word. And such a person will experience true blessedness to a measure in this life along with some sufferings as well, and will fully be and completely throughout eternity will be with him. So give yourself to the fear of the Lord. God bless you.